I'm Dave Monk, or you might know me as Old Guitar Monkey, <coughs> excuse me, and I'm going to show you how I produce my videos over the top of photographs or other videos. This technique is called chroma key, and basically it involves having a green back cloth behind you, um, and uh, in your editing software, you can make this colour green turn invisible. So when you apply your video over the top of an existing photograph or another video, um, then you see that background because the green has become invisible. Now to do this, you'll need a cloth backdrop, something like this, and you can buy these for about £15 on Amazon. And to keep it in place, what I use is an expanding curtain rod, which is sprung loaded. And because my office is very small, I can actually jam these between the two walls. And what I do then is simply pin the green cloth to that pole using standard household clothes pegs. Okay. Now what you're seeing here <coughs> is exactly the same view from the camera, but now I have behind me the screen screen. And I'll show you how it's actually fixed on. <coughs> okay, as you will see, I've fixed it to uh, my bookshelf on one side with a closed peg. You can there see the curtain rod stretched across my office and it disappears behind where my guitars are and I've actually got the other end closed pegged onto my guitar hook. Right, I have the camera back more or less in the same position as I started and I'm making a recording of me talking here and what I'll do is I'll use this actual recording and demonstrate how we can change that backdrop to a photograph um, which is easier than a video um, and I use my editing software um, which is called Power Director in its version 10. Okay, so I'm going to import the video that I created earlier. And here it is. I'm going to put it down here on video line 2. Line 2 is in front of line 1, so line 1 I'll be using for the, the backdrop. And for the backdrop I'm going to use a castle. So I'm putting the castle down there and I'm going to stretch it to make it last the same time as the video. Now if I run my movie you'll see if I run the movie you'll see that the backdrop is still green. So I'll stop that and we'll select the video and we'll now modify it so that I can change that backdrop to be transparent. Up here we can see apply chroma key so I check that box and then I can press that button it's now become enabled and I can select the colour or the particular part of the backdrop that I want to use as the colour to make it invisible. So you try and take an average so if I click it there you can see it's worked extremely well in getting rid of all the green. Here I'm using this slider bar I can change the intensity. If I slacken it off you'll see the background reappear. If I move it forwards you'll see it disappear. And as soon as it's disappeared that's where I'm going to stop. I can also adjust the hue which very often gets rid of some of the colour left around the edges. You mustn't put it too far because you'll find some of the picture you want to keep disappear. Okay, I can now close that and I can save it. And now if I select my movie and run the movie from the start, you will see that I'm sitting in front of the castle in the oh, background. The the so, that's all there is to it. I hope you found that informative. Thanks for watching.